Pratik, if I can bring you in here uh, with a comment on the broader GST architecture, right? We were thinking that this compensation says, uh, which is a hefty amount on a certain category of goods, uh, you know, will at end in five years. Now it's becoming very clear that it's not going to end in five years and it may go on for seven or eight or nine. Who knows how many years it will take to collect the revenue required to make up for whatever shortfall is experienced this year and God knows maybe next year as well. So this this view or this thought that eventually over five, six years, we will converge to lower rates and fewer rates um, doesn't seem to be happening. Yes, you're right. So uh, look, in India, whenever you impose a cess of this nature uh, for a short period, the history tells us that that continues forever. Right. I mean, uh, so, so I mean, in all likelihood, this five years had to go, uh, you know, to seven or eight, etc. So one thing is very clear that the period will now increase, right? Uh, also, you know, we have distorted the structure of GST by imposing certain other cesses, right? right? So Kerala introduced a cess uh, last year to deal with the calamity and so on and so forth, right? So uh, cesses, uh, which is supposed to be an exception, is becoming a norm, right? Uh, so it's clear that it's going to increase. The good thing is that they're not increasing the rate of tax at this point in time. And I agree with Mukesh, this is not the right time to increase the tax uh, uh, tax rates. Whether the ambit of CES will increase or not, I think finance minister kept that option open to say that tomorrow they, they might increase. However, there's one thing which I don't understand, and maybe uh, Dr. Rao can throw some light on that. There are two options that they, they provided, like 97,000 crore under option one. It's very clear that the way they have calculated is to say, this would have been my normal GST collection, assuming 10% growth is what finance minister said. This is uh, what I'll end up to. Uh, and therefore, you know, uh, this is the compensation, 97,000 crore. That, that's clear. And that is going to come from the compensation fund. That's also clear that even the interest will come from the compensation fund. So states won't have to pay a penny, even if they are borrowing this 97,000 crore. Now, when you come to 2,35,000 crore, what is not clear to me, and, and I think I, I heard finance secretary saying that even for Two lakh thirty-five thousand crores. If the states were to opt for it, it will be paid out of the compensation cess yeah. along with interest. Now, there, there was also a mention of Attorney General's opinion to say that center is liable to pay or liable to compensate the state only to the extent of loss arising out of GST compensation, which is ninety-seven thousand crore in our example. I mean, how you have com computed that? That's a, that's a question, but ninety-seven thousand crore. That means. That the balance, which is two lakh thirty-five thousand minus ninety-seven thousand crore, the center is not obligated to 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 pay to the states, as per the Tony General's opinion. That's that that's what I, I heard, right? So in that context, does it mean that the balance will be paid directly by the states to the banks? Okay, so two lakh thirty-five thousand minus ninety-seven thousand, ninety-seven thousand is coming from the compensation says the balance, which is one lakh thirty-five thousand plus three, one lakh thirty-eight thousand crores. Is it going to be paid directly by the states to, to the banks at a reduced rate? Because clearly that's not related to GST, GST implementation related compensation. That's a that's a compensation arising out of uh, you know arising out of the pandemic, which is there. Hmm. Right. And the constitution only talks about GST comp uh, compensation related to implementation of GST. Right. Yeah. So that's a confusion in my mind. Um, intuitively, I would say that states will go for 2,35,000 crores. Because uh, obviously the finances uh, are not in, in right order and they will want to have more money uh, with them, even if they have to pay interest at some point in time. Uh, that I think is a likely scenario. Uh, of course, we have one week to, to go. But uh, I have a little bit of lack of clarity uh, on, on who will fund the balance uh, between 2,35,000 and 2,35,000.